Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's November 3rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for taking some time this week. A uh, very busy week. Uh, we saw volatility come back, all moving in one direction. How did the markets respond and what were they watching? Sure. Um, so the market this week seemed to be focused on the Fed meeting that took place and also on the non-farm numbers that were released this morning. Um, the Fed held interest rates at a 22-year high for the second straight meeting, and they said they were going to continue to monitor you know, economic growth, inflation data, kind of prior to that final meeting of the year in December. Um, it seemed like the market took the tone as dovish, and we saw Treasuries rally. Um, the market is definitely continuing to monitor the unrest overseas and watch you know, any economic data that's coming out, such as the non-farm number. That came in this morning at 150,000, which was slightly below the estimate of 180,000. We also saw unemployment rate come in at 3.9% versus the estimate of 3.8%. And as I mentioned, Treasuries rallied across the curve this week and again this morning with the 10 year around a 455 and the 30 year around a 473 at the time of this video on Friday morning. And this all seems in line with the idea of high for longer, but maybe not higher, that the, the, the tightening cycle may be over, but the Fed would leave rates at these at these elevated levels. Definitely. So moving over to the new issue market, we talked last week about how it was a relatively light calendar, uh, issuers following what has been their, their recent custom of, of not pricing new deals during a Fed week, uh, just uh, in concerns of volatility and surprises. Um, what, uh, what activity did you see in the new issue market? Sure. So the calendar was light, as you mentioned, it was right around $3 billion. Um, that being said, BAM saw some nice activity pricing around $285 million across 18 series in five states. And just a few deals to highlight here were a $75 million state of Florida Board of Governors deal, which was bought by Jeffries. And then Raymond James priced a city of Pearland, Texas, which was around $80 million across four series. Um, and then Muni's just for the week, you know, we continued to see outflows, strong bid wanted activity, um, but munis did kind of follow treasuries. We were about 12 to 15 basis points tighter across the curve and the 30 year ratio as of this morning, you know, prior to the treasury move post the non-farm number was about 92.7% uh, of treasuries. So suggesting if, if, if past performance is any indicator that there, there might be still some more uh, room to run on munis to, uh, to catch up to that treasury move. Definitely. And Very then good. looking ahead we next week. Yep. As we look to next week, um, you know, calendar is building again, you know, after kind of a slight break this week, and it appears to be just under 9 billion as of this morning, which, you know, always positive to see a busy calendar. And just a few deals that we'll be watching here. There's the El Rancho USD Los Angeles County deal, which is going to be pricing across two series totaling around 60 million. And then a 31 million Upper Trinity Regional Water District in Texas, which is going to be priced by PNC. Great. Thanks for your time this week, Morgan. We'll talk to you soon. Great. Have a good weekend.